Good morning. Welcome to HIT on this beautiful, oh, hopefully you can hear that, on this beautiful Tuesday morning. We'll just wait until we get some people on here and then we will get going. Hi, Shauna. Good morning. Good morning, Natasha. All right, we are almost ready to go. Hey, Trish. Hey, Karen. Hey, Kiana. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> All right, guys, so hit today. Let me just go through um, what you're gonna need. Um, hey, good morning. Who's that, is that Chelsea? Um, okay, so for HIT today, I did list it on the um, Kinetic Strong site. Something I didn't put on there is a towel. So you need to run and grab either a dish towel, it works really good, or just one, your towel, if you got a towel to wipe your sweat off, okay? So that's the only thing I didn't put on um, the list. But the other stuff you need is a couple sets of dumbbells. I got a lot of sets just because I have access to lots, but you can get away with just a medium, a medium heavy set today. Also, if you have a kettlebell, you can use a kettlebell. I'm gonna use one, but I'll give you options to do the exercises that I'm doing with a kettlebell with the dumbbells, so you don't really need one. The other thing you need is a set of gliders, okay? So if you don't have gliders, if you don't have gliders, if you're working on a hardwood surface, paper plates or plastic plates look, are, work really good. If you're, or sorry, if you're on a hardwood, wash cloths, use wash cloths. If you're on carpet, use paper plates, okay? Or plastic plates, whatever you got. Um, but that's it, that's all you need. And a mat. All right, who else do we got on here? We got Trish, and sorry, my eyes are starting to <laughs> get all fuzzy. Jessica, hey. All right, guys, so mat if you are on a hardwood surface as well. If you're on carpet, you might not even need a mat. So let's get you warmed up. And then I will tell you what our format is going to be today. Can you give me a little thumbs up? Make sure you can hear my voice before I get going any further. I'll just wait till I get a thumbs up or a, I can hear you or sound is good, something of that nature. Can you hear me? Hey, Jamie. Thank you so much. Awesome, okay. So again, if you're just joining me, quick overview of what you need, a couple sets of dumbbells, a heavier kettlebell, if you have it, if not, no big deal, don't use it, um, and a set of gliders. You can substitute paper plates or washcloths in place of your gliders. Um, you also need a towel, so a hand towel, a dish towel, sweat towel, something like that, okay. So let's get you warmed up. Okay, just start with shoulder rolls. Just getting that body moving this morning. It is gorgeous outside today. I'm sure you're all planning to get out there at some point today. All right, make those arm circles bigger. So throughout the class, just give me a little thumbs up or um, cues to know that I, you can hear me and that the mic is working. All right, circles forward. Big circles, that full range of motion. Okay, now take your whole arm, circle it around. So I'm gonna play my music fairly loud. If, if you can't hear it though, feel free to put your own music on today. All right, just move that torso side to side. 
waking that body up. All right, we're gonna do some circles with the legs. So take that right leg, and I want you to do four circles back. Okay, lubricating that hip joint, getting it ready to work and move today. Now I want four circles forward, opposite direction. Once you've done four each direction, go to the left leg. Four back and four forward. Okay, let's get moving here. Jumping jacks, light on your feet. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. Let me know if you want the music louder or if it's too loud, you can let me know that too. Now jog on the spot, jog. Light on your feet. All right, let's jack it out. If you need low impact, you can come down here. Using that core, nice and tight. Jog it out. Kicking your heels up towards your bum. We're doing okay, guys. And jacks, woo. Getting our heart rate coming up here. Now jog it out. Kick those heels up. Back to your jets. Four, three, two, jog it out. Jack it. Jog it out. All right, we're gonna do two and two. Two jacks. Jog it out. Woo. Jack. Jog. Now hold it here. Hold it here. Press. Speed the arms up. Press up. Up. Come down into a plie squat, drop your hip, touch the floor, or reach for the floor. You don't have to touch it. Shoulders are back. All right, we're gonna speed the arms up, stay low. Dropping those hips. Almost there. Walk it out into a plank. Hands under your shoulders. Feet can be out a little bit. Tightening your abs. Straight line from your head to your feet. And you're just gonna touch opposite shoulder and opposite shoulder. Whew. Trying not to let your body shift too much. Really tighten your core. Keep your body as still as you can. Can you give me some push-ups? Open up those arms. Give me eight push-ups. Oh, my glasses are gonna fall off. <laughs> All right, slowly, when you're done, walk your hands into your feet. Slowly rolling up. Hey, Natalie. Carly. All right. You are warm. The way we're gonna work class today is we're actually gonna do a Tabata format. We're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna try and get through five Tabata circuits. We might only get four or four and a half. In between each circuit, we're gonna do some weight lifting. We're gonna pick a muscle group and we're gonna do two minutes of lifting for that muscle group. All right, so that's the way it's gonna work. 
Our first Tabata set is going to be burpees and kettlebell swings. Okay, so if you've got a kettlebell, it's going to look like this. If you don't have a kettlebell, grab a couple of your heavier weights. Okay? You're here. That's it. So we're going to switch between those two exercises and do four sets of each one. All right, got it? So get those pieces of equipment handy. Burpees and kettlebell swings. That's it. I'm going to get my timer going. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 8 sets total. All right, just get my timer set up here. So four minutes of work. Okay, are you ready? Okay, set and go. Burpees. Jump out, jump in, and jump up. You want to try and do as many as you can. All right, rest. Grab your kettlebell or your dumbbells. Setting up. You only get 10 seconds to transition. Go. This is what it looks like from the side. Squeeze those glutes. This is not an arm exercise. You're just creating momentum for the arm. Rest. Burpees. All right, one set down, three more to go of each one. Go. Big jump. Yes. Okay, back, back, back to your swings. Feet apart. Ready? Go ahead. Whew. Dropping those hips back. Pushing through the heels. Yes. We're halfway done. Two more of each one. Go. Try and get as many reps into these 20 seconds as you can. on these last sets. Go. Woo. One more. Great job. Last set of swings. Make this your best one. Woo! Almost there. And you're done with that 
cycle. Shake it out. Grab some water. Okay, we're gonna do rows and flies. So grab some heavy dumbbells. We're gonna do one minute of rows. So here, and then we're gonna do a minute of reverse flies. So you're gonna want lighter weights for those. Okay, get those weights in hand. Shoulders back, I'll turn this way so I can see the clock. Bending over, slight bend through your knees. Three, ready, and go. Think about your back muscles here. Pulling our shoulder blades together. Shoulders are pulling away from our ears. Abs are tight to support the lower back. So bracing our core. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Driving those elbows as high to the ceiling as you can get them. So important to keep your core engaged so you don't build up tension in your lower back. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Grab a lighter set, moving into reverse flies. Hinging over, and go. Pulling the shoulder blades together, arms go out to the side. Make sure you're hinged over enough that gravity is on our back, not on your shoulders. When you can't lift those weights anymore, grab lighter ones and keep going. Halfway. Tighten up those abs more than ever. Ten seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Put those weights off to the sides. Great job. Okay. We got another Tabata cycle coming up. I just want to double check that we're still good for sound. All right, give me a thumbs up. Hey, Haley. Thumbs up if the sound is still good. Okay, power jacks. That's your first exercise. Second exercise, break dance kicks. So this is what these look like. Lifting your hips. Thanks for the thumbs up. Okay, so that's breakdance kicks. If you have yoga blocks, it helps to have your hands up there if they're feeling uncomfortable on the floor. If this is not working for you and you don't like this exercise, you can do mountain climbers. Instead, you can use your gliders or just do it on the floor. All right, I'm gonna do break dance kicks, but you choose what's gonna work best for you. Okay, sound is good, let's start the timer. Starting with power jacks. Three, two, go. Try and touch both fingers. Alright, so break dance kicks if you're with me, or you can do mountain climbers. Really press those hips up. Go. Try to lift your bum up as high as you can as you're kicking the feet. You can go slower as well. 
Just try to get one foot off the floor before the other one lands. All right, one set down, three to go. 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 Again, pressing the hips up. Deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Go. Biceps it is. Curls. One minute of curls. And then your second exercise is a curl and press. If you don't have a kettlebell, it's going to look like this. If you have a kettlebell, you just hold on to the collar here and here. All right, but let's just start off with our dumbbells. Regular curls. All right, we got one minute of these. Three, two, one. Try not to swing the weight. Keep momentum out. Once you can't lift those weights anymore, you grab a lighter set and keep going. We wanna try and reach failure. 30 more seconds to get there. Exhale as you lift up. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna move into the curl and press. 10 seconds. Five, 
three, two, one. Grab your um, kettlebell if you have it, or keep the dumbbells in hand. Ready? Go. Curl, press. Keep your core engaged. Whew. How are we doing out there? Still feeling strong? 30 seconds of these left. Fifteen seconds, come on. Lift nice and high. Five seconds. And rest. Beautiful job. All right, we got another Tabata set. Military curls and hand curls. Okay, so you're gonna need your gliders. Or if you're using washcloths, or paper plates. I know some of you are out there groaning away right now because <laughs> you hate gliders, but it will make you feel good to know that this is the only thing we're gonna do with them. Four minutes of glider work and that's it. Okay, first exercise, military curls. The whole 20 seconds, crawling up your mat and down your mat. If you're not using a mat, five crawls forward and five crawls back. Let's do that. And then you're going to turn over, put your heels on your gliders, the bum at the end of the mat, lifting the hips, and then out and in with the heels. Trying to move the gliders together, but if you need to modify, then you can absolutely switch those legs and alternate. Okay, timer. Get ready for mountain or military curls. All right, guys, are you ready? Three, two, go. that core engaged. We want a nice plank position here. And rest. Flip over. Bum at the end of the mat. Okay, lift your hips up. And out and in. Out and in. Working our hamstrings. Just hover your bum an inch or two off the floor. Awesome, flip over. One set done, three to go. Ready, go. If you need to modify this, you can just hold your plank Come to the edge of the mat, and go. So if you feel like you can't pull them in together, this is how you're gonna do it. Okay? Just as long as you're feeling like you're outside your comfort zone, challenging your muscles always. Halfway there. Two more sets of each one, guys. You got this piece of cake, right? Ready? Go! You can do it. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Rest. Whew. 
Those are tough. So if they're feeling really, really hard, then you're doing them right, because <laughs> they are hard. Go. hard to get what we need out of these last sets. Tighten those abs. Done with those. All right, gang, last set of ham curls. Thumb up in the air, and go. Whew, think about those hamstrings. They'll work harder for you. Final set, you got this. One more. Oh, good job. Whew. Quick little stretch. Let the tension go out of those hamstrings. And guess what? That's it for gliders. You don't need them anymore. All right, guys, shake those legs out. We're moving on to shoulders. Let me see if we're still good on the mic before we move on. Still doing good? Just give me a quick thumbs up just to keep reassuring me that I haven't cut out on you. Okay. So shoulders, we're gonna do three exercises, 40 seconds each. First one, anterior raises. Second one, lateral raises. Third, Arnold press. So those are our three. Get the weights you want for those. Anterior first. 40 seconds of each. Ready, set, go. Controlling those weights coming down. Don't just let them fall towards your body. Feel that resistance. Tighten your core. Try not to swing your body into it. So we're focusing on that anterior deltoid. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, lateral raises, go. Bringing the elbows and dumbbells out to the side. Now focusing on the medial deltoid. Keeping our shoulders pulled down from our ears. Oh, 10 seconds. Come on, get those elbows up. Three, two, one. Arnold press. Give it a quick little shake. Elbows out in front. Go. Oh, I'm going to need lighter ones. Grab lighter weights if those arms are tired. Circle those arms out and then press. Core is tight. Try and keep the arch out of your back. 10 seconds. Give me one more, one more, and rest. That's it for shoulders. Good, little stretch, pull it across your chest. Okay guys, next to bat a set. Grab a dumbbell or your kettlebell. 
it's just going to be a reference point for you. We're going to do snowboarders. Okay, so you sit down low, touch that weight, and then touch. Okay, half turn. If you need low impact, then don't jump. Just step. All right, snowboarders. And then this is where you need your towel. So grab a dish towel or your sweat towel. Okay, so you're gonna take that towel, you're gonna bring it under your feet, then lean back, then overhead. Ah, <laughs> it's a tough one. If you wanna go without the towel, just pretend. Just pretend you've got a towel. All right, those are our two. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let me get the timer going, starting with snowboarders. Three, two, go. Come on, guys. Big jump. Deep breaths. Ready? Go. Woo! Come on, legs. Shake it out. <sighs> Let's go. You got this. Pull those abs in. Woo! Aren't those fun? <laughs> they're tough, but they're kind of fun. Halfway there. Go. Explode off the floor. Come on. Whew. Shake it out. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh. All right, guys, one more of each one. Are you ready? Finish strong. Come on. Done with those, thank goodness. Last set of these. Make them your best. Ready? Go.
probably better than me. All right, guys, grab a drink. We're gonna do some tricep work now. All right, how are we doing out there? Laura, hello, hello. All right, I hope you guys are still doing okay. We're almost done, so you should be pretty exhausted. Tricep push-ups. I know everyone loves those so much. On your knees. All right, we're not gonna do a whole minute of them. Don't get freaked out. I want you to draw a triangle on your mat. Your hands are gonna go to the base of the triangle. Your nose is gonna go up to the top. All right, so elbows stay close. Are you ready? Everyone set up. Three, two, and go. Keep your arms close to your body. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Give me four more. One more, come on. Yes. All right, we're gonna do overhead extensions on our knees. So you're gonna go on your knees. Take one weight up and drop it. Let's go. Whew. That's already too heavy. <laughs> Just finishing off the tries here. Full extension. Ten seconds, come on. All the way straight. Give me one more. And done. Yeah. All right, we've got one final set. Let me show you where we're gonna go with it. All right, so we're gonna go on our shoulder. We're gonna lift up into a plank. So you're gonna be on your left shoulder and your left knee, and we're gonna lift the leg. So we're working obliques, and we're working gluteus medius. Okay, so start on that left shoulder. I'm gonna get the timer going. We're probably only gonna have time for three sets instead of four. I know you're really sad about that. Three, two, go. Lift that leg up and down, pushing out of your shoulder. Your elbow should be directly under your shoulder. Switch. All right, right shoulder right over your elbow. I feel like you can't see me, maybe you can. <laughs> Push right out of that shoulder. Switch again. So you got both gluteus medius is working because this one's stabilizing you on your knee and the other one is moving the leg. And lifting that hip up so that we got obliques as well. Other side. 
set it up. So. Again, pushing right out of your shoulder girdle. Feeling those glutes, obliques. All right, one more on each side. Go. and do an option with me if you want, or you can just hold a plank. All right, so the option, first option, is literally to hold it here. Second option, bring the knees in. Third option is to go onto your hands and do a pike and a tuck. Okay, ready, set, go. Exercise of the morning. Whew. I'm just going to hold the rest of it. 15 seconds. Abs tight. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press your hips to your heels. Ooh, that feels good. Hold it there. Hold it right there. Oh, I hope you got the workout you wanted today. Just breathe nice and deep. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna slow the music down. Walk your hands off to one side of your mat. Oh, my mat is covered in sweat. I hope yours is. Hands off to one side. Press your hip away from your hands. Take them off to the other side. Press the other hip away. All right, come center. We're gonna tuck the toes under and push up into a squat. And then just roll up slowly. Slowly making your way up to a standing position. Take your time. All right, let's start off with a quad stretch. Grab hold of that left foot. Bring the knees together. Squeeze your left glute. Good, we're gonna take the same leg, cross it over top, open up the hip, and then sit. Focus on your breaths now. Every time you exhale, just relax a little deeper into your stretch. All right.
right, come up, slide this leg down in front, open up the arms, and hinging forward. Keep a flat back, pushing your tailbone up to the ceiling. You should feel a nice stretch through the hamstring. Let your arms fall to the floor. And then roll it up. Good, let's uncross the legs. Grab hold of your right foot now. Knees together. Squeeze that right glute. Nice deep breaths. Cross this leg over, open up the hip, and sit. Your body will thank you for taking a few minutes here to stretch the muscles. It's so important that we keep nice and flexible to prevent injury, especially as we get older. Good, open up the arms, take one arm across, then drop the opposite ear towards the shoulder. Take the other arm across, drop the other shoulder. Good, open up your arms, just keep them open. Press the back of your hand towards the back wall. Look up, feel that open up your chest. Now place your hands on your lower back and try and pull those elbows towards each other a little more. This can open up your shoulders as well as your chest. And last stretch, clasp your hands in front, push your spine out to the back, tuck your chin, open up the shoulder blades. And you are done. Great job, you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I sure hope you got the workout you came for this morning. Thanks for joining me on this beautiful Tuesday. Go out and enjoy the, the nice weather today. All right, leave your feedback, guys. My glasses are all fogging up. <laughs> leave your feedback. I love to hear what you thought of class. All right, have a great day. I will be back again on Friday for Chisel. All right, so we'll catch you then. See you later. Bye-bye.